Sagittarius part two. Okay, so this what else we've got going on? Okay, this is the week of October 14th, 2019. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, this is part two of part one. So here it is. Okay, I also feel like for some of you, there is a Capricorn, specifically a Capricorn that wants to get back together with you. I feel like um, this person is pretty open and honest with whatever they've got going on. They may be married. They may, you know, have somebody on the side. They may honestly tell you, hey, guess what? I can't be faithful to you. They might be telling you the truth or you, Sagittarius, are telling this to a Capricorn. But I feel like this person is saying, okay, I'll take whatever I can get. Um, for some of you, you may uh, it may be an open relationship and you guys may be into threesomes, that sort of thing. But it shows here if there's a meeting of the minds and you, two people are agreeing. If everybody agrees to it, then go for it. Knock yourselves out. Have some fun. Okay. Now I also see that for some of you, you don't know who to pick. You've got choices. I feel like for some of you, these could possibly be brand new people, but for most of you, these are people from the past. But you guys don't know who to pick if you, if you should pick the air sign, the Gemini, the Libra, or the Aquarius, or the Cancer, Pisces, or the Scorpio. No. It looks like you I'm may not. choose. Yes. They don't know who to pick. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, with the Three of Cups here, you may choose to date both of these people to figure out who you want because you can't choose. And that's fine. I say if, the, if there isn't a ring put on it, if you, you know, if you guys aren't exclusive, then date whoever the hell you want to date and have some fun. Why not? Men do it all the time. Why can't women do it too? So this could be in regards to a man or a woman or both. So live your best lives. Knock yourselves out. Okay. Um, I also feel like for some of you, there is authority figures coming your way. Lawyers and, uh, and police, law enforcement, court. So if some of you are dealing with family court stuff, it looks like it should be over soon. Um, if you know that your, your ex who's trying to gain custody is using drugs, it looks like some of you are going to say something like that. Like they're an alcoholic, they're a drug addict. I know it. It looks like there will be some sort of a test done, some sort of a urine test done. And I feel like that's going to stop the, the custody drama. I feel like whoever's not on the drugs is going to get sole custody. So that's always good news, right? I also feel like for some of you, you may be dealing with your own addictions, your own obsessions. I feel like for some of you, there is an ex that you guys think about all the time, but you don't, you don't want to reach out to them. You just want to obsess over them, possibly know their whereabouts, or this could be them towards you, Sagittarius. But either way, I feel like there's somebody from a distance that keeps thinking about you. You're probably having dreams about them now, thinking about them now, but they're not calling you or contacting you. It's because they don't want to. So if you're cross-watching and a Sagittarius is doing this to you, yeah, they're not calling. They're not going to. I feel like they just want to dream from a distance, obsessed from a distance. All right, guys, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.